Manual override is only needed on BoostX if the connected battery is too low to be detected, so it is important to understand when and how to use it properly. Note that manual override does not provide any additional power. It simply removes auto detection and safety features. If the unit is powered on but the charge LEDs do not chase, it means that BoostX is not detecting a battery. A solid connection is crucial for jump starting, so first double check that the clamps are connected securely. If the clamps are properly connected and the charge LEDs still do not chase, this could mean that your battery is under 3 volts and cannot be detected. In this case, manual override is required to jumpstart the vehicle. Before continuing, remember that activating manual override will disable safety features, including spark proof and reverse polarity protection. Manual override should only be used with extreme caution. To activate manual override, press and hold the override button for approximately 3 seconds until the charge LEDs start to chase. The charge LEDs will chase, indicating Boost X is ready to jumpstart. Start the vehicle. Once the vehicle is on, power off Boost X and disconnect the clamps from the battery. 